So this first one is from a member of the archaeology staff. In the wake of a pandemic, the most mentally challenging and difficult situation of our lives, the university created more distress by putting the department under review and then considering its closure. Not only was the timing cruel, pushing our already delicate mental stability to breaking point, they conducted the review and all communications in a very unprofessional and unclear manner. By not being open about the process and the purpose with staff and students, and then by announcing two severe options, one of which was chosen, not only putting staff jobs at risk, but creating more insecurity and instability for students was ethical and unnecessarily cruel. The university has put staff and students through over two months of turmoil and stress by announcing a possible close and by not being transparent about how this would be carried out. This has resulted in staff and students becoming mentally and physically ill with, with stress and anxiety as they wait to find out when they have a job until, when they have a supervisor or facilities until, and worry about the future of their careers, how they will pay the bills and deal with the fact that they will close connections and opportunities promised to them as alumni of the department. This situation would never be welcome or easy one, but a lot of illness could have been avoided if conducted correctly and fairly, as, with, as, as well as a different outcome. one is also from a member of staff. Since the beginning of the pandemic 16 months ago, I have published several books and papers, applied for several grants, brought to successful completion three of my PhD students, examined three PhDs, successfully continued my teaching in the most difficult circumstances, taken one week of annual leave, and yet the faculty and university management are treating me like a lazy bastard can't go on like this. They are killing us slowly, day by day. They have created a university environment that is toxic and unhealthy. Enough of this. Either we respond or die. From another member of staff, the stress of what is happening to us is grinding me down. I'm finding it difficult to focus, sleep. I burst into tears many times a day and I'm no longer sure of what I should do with my future. I come from a humble family, worked my ass off in a factory for two years to afford a master at Sheffield Archaeology because Sheffield Archaeology has the best education I could get for my field of study. I got my PhD prizes and recognitions because of the quality of teaching, outstanding supervision and the high level of education I got here. Now somebody up there is telling me we have to close down because archaeology at Sheffield is not good enough. Do they even know what they're talking about? Why would I have lost eight years of my life in a place that is not only average, but not even good enough to stand as an independent department? This is from my PhD student. I'm an international PhD student. Since the review, research projects and other plans that once seemed promising now appear less certain. I used to be so proud to be a Sheffield student. I have the Sheffield flag in my bedroom and wore the university jumper all the time. Now I get a lump in my throat when I see them. I feel betrayed by the one thing that was supposed to be my greatest champion. We worked so hard and sacrificed so much to do our PhDs and doing them at Sheffield was supposed to mean something. Now I have nightmares about the department closing and wake up to emails from faculty that leave me feeling hollow. This wasn't supposed to be how my PhD ended. I was looking forward to future collaborations, research visits, and the feeling of pride that would come saying, I'm from Sheffield Uni. Now I know convocation will be less about graduating from Sheffield and more about graduating despite it. I'd just like to correct myself from earlier, these statements aren't just from the Department of Archaeology, but here's another one from a PhD student. The past 18 months or so have caused a huge challenge to us all. On top of all other pressures the pandemic caused, I've been unable to access material for analysis and unable to access our labs for several months. These issues, along with a major bereavement during lockdown, the isolation caused by mainly working alone from home have caused stress, anxiety, doubts over whether I could produce a piece of original research to anything like an acceptable standard or within the time limits, and yes, depression. The support and understanding of my supervisor and colleagues and being part of such a wonderful team has helped me immensely. 
Then along came the UEB review and sub subsequent recommendation, which at this point in time, when we are all suffering the consequences of the pandemic, is nothing short of barbaric. This is not to mention the underhand way they have conducted the review and the plain fact that they have seem, seem unanswerable to no one, despite the multiple times we have challenged their methods and motives. So I'm now faced with the possibility of the loss of my brilliant sup and supportive supervisor, a lab in which to work, and the excellent reference collection we have, which is so crucial to my research. This has pretty much tipped me over the edge. I have no focus. I can't sleep. I feel helpless and hopeless. I don't know how these people sleep at night. a master's student. UEB's decision of closing the Department of Archaeology arrived in the most unfair period for all the students, spring and term. We had already faced so many issues during the last two years with the pandemic. At that moment, we needed a more peaceful and safe environment to terminate our university path. Of course, this decision and the way it was taken impacted tremendously the overall exam grades and most importantly, our mental health. Personally, during my in Sheffield, I had to face several personal and professional issues, among them the pressure put on students, for which I had to ask for a leave of absence for one year. When I heard that one of the UEB representatives compared students to grocery products, I felt mortified, as I suppose did all my colleagues and all our professors. Speaking of which, I must say that I have never found such amazing staff and professors, and the saddest part is that the future students I've never known how amazing it was to study archaeology at the University of Sheffield. As a self-funded student, I am proud and happy to work hard for the upkeep of my studies. Studying at Sheffield provided me with an optimistic outlook on my future goals and career, but the proposal of the University Executive Board to close the Department of Archaeology creates havoc not only for my academic career, but also for my mental health. The incomprehensible push to decimate a world-leading international and welcoming department undermines everything I valued at the University of Sheffield. Adding to my change of perception is the unwillingness and incapability of university administration to engage with students openly and without deceit. I was happy to contribute to a university for the people, but I am disgusted by the rep repetitive and most cynical pseudo reassurances of processes being in place and mental well-being services being available with the pandemic having a major impact on well mental health and being deceived and instrumentalized can bring the most resilient person to their limit. Adding untransparent answers to our concerns shows the dismissive nature of university management and leaves students and staff's mental health in the air. Trading the optimistic futures of students, staff and the wider community for untransparency, deceit and ultimately greed is unworthy of the University of Sheffield. from an undergraduate student. I have struggled with mental health issues for a large portion of my life, and the effect the pandemic has had made things much more difficult for me, especially regarding my studies and mental health. The first time in many years, I began to self-harm, and over the Christmas period, I hit a low that I had not been through since my father died. And just when I began to feel like I was getting back on my feet, I received word out of the blue via email it was likely my department would be closed. I cannot understate the betrayal and sadness I felt. Why now, during the worst crisis this country has faced in decades, despite assurances that all current students will be able to complete their degree, I feel lost, unmotivated and frankly, extremely angry. I joined this department as a mature student. I worked hard to even get myself into a position to be able to come to Sheffield on my own and study archaeology a subject I have always wanted to study and intended to make into a career. When I received the call that I had been accepted onto a foundation year course to continue on to archaeology, I was genuinely excited. And now I feel the university upper management are trying to rip that away from me and my fellow students. I never had a say in this decision, nor my course mates, nor the staff in the department. I just fail to understand why the university has decided to do this now. At this point, I don't even know if I want to continue with my studies at Sheffield anymore. This is for a PhD student. When I first heard our department was under review, I was naive enough to not be fully alarmed. I thought, what could they do to a world leading department? Then, when they first announced their decision, I was shell shocked. I couldn't believe it. But I thought I had to get it back together, and after a couple of days, I'd be able to focus on my studies and therefore focus on something that I love 
just work through the stress or pain. But little did I know. Since the UEB announced actions against our department, it feels like everything has come to a halt. Like the rug was pulled away from under my feet. Each day when I should just be happy and thankful that I can pursue my studies and do something I love, even during a pandemic, all I can feel is sadness, disgust, anger, helplessness and stress. All of that only because the UEB decided against us, because they are unable to see our contribution onto society and our research worth. There are days when I feel optimistic, only to receive another email from the university containing misinformation, misleading or partial information. I feel unheard. No matter how loud we are shouting, the university does not look our way. It makes me feel so helpless when the university says there are plans in place to get rid of the supervisors we had deliberately chosen and who are world leading on their respective fields of research. As a PhD student, I deliberately entrusted my academic life and career to the University of Sheffield. I trusted them to give me and our department a proper place of research and teaching. But now I just feel betrayed because some people higher up have decided that we are not good enough anymore. We are just a product that they want to get rid of.